Hey guys, this is John from jssco.co.uk and today we're going to be talking about how to index backlinks fast with GSA Search Engine Manager. Okay, so say you're building backlinks to a website that you're trying to rank. Um, how do you do you, you, you could do many things. So first and foremost, you should be building your own private blog network. This is by far the most effective and untraceable way to rank your site and I've written about it quite a lot uh, on my blog, on the blog um, jssc.uk um, or you could create for example key profile links, um, article directory links or you, or you could be um, getting actual organic backlinks to the site they're trying to rank. Um, or um, of course you could also building an entirely new site um, with a brand new domain for the purpose of, I don't know, say, making them affiliate sites, um, to rank pages for competitive keywords, um, and then rent them out. So you could be doing either of these things in SEO, but the question is how is Google going to actually find these links? So I suppose in the first example, a better way to say it would be how is Google actually going to see these backlinks because there's no point in making backlinks if they're not going to see because that's the whole reason they get because that's the whole sort of method that they actually help your rankings is that they get seen by Google, point to your site, Google says okay this is going to make them look better. Um, and then the second case is brand new sites thing. Um, your domain is brand new um, and you get it indexed. So you could have the best on-site on um, SEO optimization for that keyword in the world. You could have the keyword in H1. Um, you could have the keyword again in bold and the line italics, but it's going to take a long time for it to get seen unless you um, make a special type of backlink to it or you. Um, basically leave it to chance and then it just takes an absolute page. Trust me, it takes it can take weeks. There is a way you can do these things with the automated link building tool, GSA Search Engine Ranker. Um, there are quite a few ways and you might be surprised to learn that comment links are actually quite useful here. Now obviously comment links in SEO are kind of a taboo, kind of like a byword for spam. And SEO, but they are actually quite useful here. So, if you if you kind of if you if you're short on time, you're trying to find a really quick way to index a backlink. Um, comment links from comment links on blog posts that are themselves PageRank one. So the actual blog post itself, that page is PageRank one, or even just on blog posts on domains that are page rank one or more um, uh, are going to help to really kind of guarantee that backlink is going to get found. Um, but the only thing to worry about when you're doing this GSA um, is that you need to make a separate tier project for this. So say you make a tier one with your main links going straight to your site um, with tier two um, other links going to these backlinks, those tier one backlinks to make sure that they get indexed fast. Um, you're going to need to make a separate tier. I'll explain why in a second. Um, Google is watching over the anchor text of blog comment links like Hawk nowadays. Um, if I mean even just like looking at it in, 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 in the, if you were to look at it physically, like if you see comment uh, comment link with anchor text best haircut in London it just looks you just instantly think spam um, and Google obviously knows this so but uh, you mean, I mean that is if the webmaster doesn't spot this already and delete it um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find a list of first names and then load these into the anchor text box in GSA. So, do not put your keyword as anchor text. Simple as that. Just don't, just don't, don't even think about doing it. It looks 
spammy, all, all your comments are going to get deleted. And I found that by doing a simple trick, basically by making brand new, brand new tier for common links to my backlinks to get them indexed fast. Go on the internet, it's really easy, just, just, just basically Google list of first names, get it into a notepad file, save it on your desktop, and on the empty text box, basically just import, uh, import file at this point. So I think I found, I found a line, um, I can't remember exactly where I found it, I think I found a list on the first page of Google which had something like 23,000 first names. And these are all the most common given names um, in the whole entire world. So some of them you might not even might not even recognise. But um, having a first name really not only increases the acceptance of your comments that you make through GSA, but it'll also make sure that Google doesn't see it and slap you right in your face. Um, so not only PR1 plus, sorry, PR1 plus blog comments help, but there are quite a lot of other types of backlinks that you can actually make uh, using GSA that will help your backlinks or your new sites get indexed fast. Um, so GSA allows you to make wiki profile links, so that's MediaWiki, um, I think Tiki Wiki and one one, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Moin one, I don't know. One one. Um, this is the channel where I make a complete ass of myself. Um, every video says this is why exactly why I should subscribe. Um, also, you can post social bookmarks, uh, social bookmark links, um, web 2.0 links, uh, and social network links. Um, GSA doesn't have an amazing success rate, at least in my experience. Um, with Web 2.0 uh, backlink creation, um, but it does have a really good um, success rate um, uh, for making such network links. And these also, guys, count as Web 2.0 links, so make sure you put these in. So when you're either making uh, a tier of links, uh, to something, either it's backlinks or a brand new site. Make make these two sets of these two sets of links going to your site. So I'm just going to colour these in. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm having trouble here. Okay, red. Okay, fine. Um, This is the JSSEO channel where we're thoroughly professional in everything that we do, and I make an asset of myself every time. Um, okay, so you want to make these two kinds of tiers: these, this one, one tier, PR one plus blog comments. Um, so you can either tell GSA to only post to, I think it says domains of PR one or below, don't post to the or unknown page rank, and then you can tell it to either use page rank of the page. And it'll give you a little warning saying, "What are you doing? You're going to find a really small number of posts." Or you can basically say the PR is right, and then you're going to make a second one of these going to the same links as these ones, wiki uh, profile links, as bookmarks, and these web web developer links. And basically, that's pretty much all you need. Um, make sure. For these, you've got really good spun content, so um, I'm going to do a video on uh, really, really untraceable and really readable manual spinning in the future. So basically, just kind of ensure that. I mean, I suppose you can work out. if you're feeling lazy, I suppose you could basically take the same spun content for whatever links, whatever backlinks you're pointing these to. Of whatever you're using on your SEO site for these projects, because to be honest, if you've spun it well enough, then it's not going to matter. Trust me on that. Okay, so that's the end of this quick video. Um, make sure you go and subscribe for, for subscribe. <laughs> can't talk today. Go and subscribe for regular free SEO goodness on the GS SEO channel.
All right, thanks guys, thanks for watching.